After winning nine games in 2017, Taste Creek finished five and six last season. This fall, Taste Creek looks to get back to its winning ways. Today, we look at the Taste Creek Commodores, brought to you by Glycod.com and HKC Roofing. After 19 years as an assistant coach, John Smith took over the reins as head coach at Tate's Creek in 2018. As he enters his second season, Coach Smith is really optimistic about this season, and it all starts at the quarterback position, where the Commodores have one of the top quarterbacks in the state in Luke Doobie. The senior quarterback is 6'3", 205 pounds, and put up some impressive numbers last year. Doobie was fourth in Class 6A in passing, throwing for almost 2,000 yards and 21 touchdowns. His favorite target is first-team All-City wideout Miles Thomas, who finished fifth in Class 6A in receiving with over 800 yards in receptions and 11 touchdowns. In the backfield for Taste Creek last season's leading rusher, Marcus Bosley, returns with over 600 yards on the ground and six rushing TDs. Expect Bosley to be one of the top running backs in Central Kentucky in his senior season. On the defensive side of the ball, the Commodores will run a 3-4 defensive scheme and return six starters. The defensive backfield should be a strength with seniors Willie McGee and first-team All-City selection Elliot Bryant returning. Bryant led Taste Creek with three interceptions, and McGee added two INTs of his own. As usual, a challenging schedule awaits the Commodores as they start the season on the road at Madison Southern and end the regular season at Pulaski County. Sprinkled in between are an away game at George Rogers Clark and city matchups at Frederick Douglass, Dunbar, and Lexington Catholic. Home games at Roy Walton Stadium include Bryan Station, Lafayette, and Henry Clay. For more coverage of the Tate's Creek Commodores, visit Glycod.com. Join Chris Labar tomorrow from Bryan Station. Until then, I'm Greg Horn. Thanks for watching.